So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another that is 14th video in Docker series. And in this one, we're going to see how you can actually, you know, modify your image for the first time. So base image has nothing useful, right? So for example, if I go ahead and run this, what I'm going to see is I cannot make use of Git, I cannot make use of curl. All these utilities are not installed right by default or maybe if your application requires a specific utility which you want to pull from internet so you just have to do it you know yourself like this or maybe you can see that i have to actually update it first of all right so it's not very friendly to just update it in every container i run right because it's time consuming it's repetitive and it doesn't make sense so what I'm going to do is instead of doing all of this again and again, I'm going to make use of something known as run command. Now what run in Docker does is that when it's creating your image, that is when it's creating that particular image you want to run, it is going to execute this command, not inside the container, but inside the build process of that image. So what happens essentially is that when your image when your image is being created your image multiple containers are created from your image so i'm going to name this image x so image x creates container one and container two right but what happens is you can actually install git before you have finally you know created your image so what happens in this case is that image x would eventually contain git itself automatically so you do not have to install git manually in both the containers so how do we do that with the run command so i'm going to say run apt get update first of all so the syntax is pretty pretty awesome you just have to write run and whatever you write without quotes quotes are not required whatever you write would get would get as it is executed as a command in this particular image and i'm going to also say you run apt get install git and that's it so let's see what happens now so i'm going to say docker build and uh, the tag name is my first docker image again and in this case i'm still i'm actually in the docker directory itself so i'm just going to point it to the current directory and hit enter so let's see what happens let's see what's happening here so what do we have in here is um, now we have instead of one we have three steps and you can see each line is a step in this case although that's not really true but yeah you can just consider that for now so step one of three is from Ubuntu since we already have the Ubuntu image so it does not really uh, make any sense to download Ubuntu again so what it does is that it uses the cached copy of that particular image right which we have step two of three is it says run apt get update right so now it executes this command um, on this particular image so you can see we get a, a regular um, dialogue you know regular prompt of how an apt get update would look like and you can see that we get uh, all right so we have some particular errors we're going to get to that but anyway, what I'm going to show you why that happened is uh, so we ran app get update here and it updated uh, the repository packages. Then we tried to run app get install git, right? So it started installing it again, but it failed at this point because you can see it was waiting for stdio, right? So we do not really want that. So what we want is when it's installing it, it should just go ahead and uh, yes any prompt automatically and an interesting thing would happen now and I'll show you what that is so we run it again now if you can see carefully what happened here was step one and step two you see it says me using cache now you can see in the last iteration we got a lot of uh, update links and everything and it took a couple of seconds to update but next time I ran this thing it used the cache of this particular command and what is the cache is this ID now how docker works internally 
is that it builds an image on top of layers, right? So every line, you can say every run command is a particular, is a single layer. So when I run this app get update, Docker says that, hmm, I think I already have run this command and the output is saved. So why not just use it as it is instead of like running it again and overwriting it on the same command. So we're going to get in the depth of how images work and how layers work later on, maybe in the next video, but just bear with me in this one. And then finally it installs uh, all the stuff. And yeah, here we are, we are ready. Now if I do a docker image ls head n2 for example, so you can see we get our first image as my first docker image which was just created 17 seconds ago and this is the size of this particular image, right? So it consists of Ubuntu and git and the cache from this app get update and app get installed and the dependencies of git obviously. So the next thing we can do is we can just say docker run it and I'm gonna say Ubuntu, not really Ubuntu, sorry, my first docker image and hit enter. Now what we're gonna see is we already have git installed with us. How cool is that? Now any container you create with this particular image, you know, maybe, you know, if you even forward map any ports, or do anything like it does not really matter what you're gonna see is you always have get installed with this because of how this particular image is constructed so yeah that's that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you then in the next video real quick